Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and starting to do a check out the performance of the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G against the Poco F3 and guys and the Poco F3 has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 processor which is based on 7 nanometer architecture and also we have 8 GB of RAM as well while on the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G we have a Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G 5G chipset which is based on 6 nanometer architecture also we have 8 GB of RAM as well on the back we have a triple cameras on the Poco F3 while on the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G we have a quad cameras we have a main 48 megapixel main camera on the Poco F3 while on the A52 S 5G we have a 64 megapixel main camera with optical image separation then we have a 8 megapixel ultra wide we also have a 2 megapixel macro on the Poco F3 while on the A52 S 5G we also have a 12 megapixel ultra wide we also have a 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth sensor on the front we have a 20 megapixel selfie camera on the Poco F3 while on the A52 S 5G we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera so in this video I'm gonna show you how much a difference between a Poco F3 with their Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 chipset versus Snapdragon 778G inside the A52 S 5G so without any wasting time let's get right into it and guys now let's see the boot up test here we go and the logo is here more faster on the a52 s 5g and both phones is running on android 11 also we have a miui version 12.5 while on the a52 s 5g we have a one ui version 3.1 And the Poco F3, it is a little bit more faster when it comes to booting up as compared to the A52 S 5G. About one second difference between these two devices. Now let's talk about the displays between these two devices and both phones as a really beautiful display. We have a full HD Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate on the A52 S 5G. While on the Poco F3, we have a full HD AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate as well and both phones also has a punch hole and the punch hole it is a little more smaller on the poco f3 but you can see that the bottom chin also very similar on both phones we have a 6.5 inch display on the a52 s 5g while on the poco f3 we have a 6.67 inch also in the back it is made up of glass on the poco f3 while on the a52 s 5g we have a plastic on the back and also on the frame on both phones also made up of plastic on the front we have a Corning Gorilla Glass version 5 on both phones as well as on the back on the Poco F3 and guys everything's closed up in the background and you can see no application is running in the background and also we have same Wi-Fi network on both phones and the first application we have is the phone dialer a little bit more faster on the A52 S 5G so next on the list is the settings launching at the same time exactly the same on both phones now let's go to the display on both phones and you can see we have 120 hertz refresh rate on both phones now let's check out some more application now let's start off with the amazon shopping again we have a snapdragon 870 versus a snapdragon 778g 5g a little bit more faster on the poco f3 let's see the scrolling very smooth on both phones no lag whatsoever now let's check out some games application how much a difference between a snapdragon 870 versus a snapdragon 778g Let's see Candy Crush Saga at the same time, faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the A52s and both phones also have the dual speakers. Here is the speakers on the Poco F3 and you can see full volume. Now let's see the speakers on the A52s 5G. So here is the speakers of the A52s 5G and the speakers is more better I feel on the Poco F3. F3 has a more bass in their speakers. Instagram faster on the Poco F3 let's see pin out and the pin out also faster on the F3 as compared to the A52s so that's very good thing and Poco F3 is performed more faster there which is obvious because we have a more powerful 870 chipset let's see snapchat exactly the same let's see spotify again a little bit more faster on the Poco F3 as you can see let's see subway surfer and the subway suffer also faster and you can see a little bit on the poco f3 but let's see at the end but a52 is faster there now let's see temper and two on both phones let's see who is going to be the fastest one overall in the game map during time and you can see in the poco f3 faster there but not a huge difference about half a second difference there or a one second difference in some games and you can see about half a second difference there 
Now let's quickly open the Antudo benchmark and faster again on the Poco F3, little bit more faster there. So on the F32 S5 G we have 76%, while on the Poco F3 we have a 61%. So you can see the CPU temperature as well on both phones. Now let's run at the same time. Okay guys, I'm back. As you can see that in the Poco F3 is completely done and you can see we have a 6 lakh and 74,000 scores on the Poco F3 and also you can see that the temperature is close 5.5 degrees Celsius. And the A52S also done and you can see we have a 4 lakhs and 42,000 scores and you can see we have a only 1.9 degrees Celsius temperature is goes up. So here is the CPU scores as well as the GPU scores as well. Now let's opening up the tutor. That's faster on the A52 S5 G Zedge and Zedge faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the A52 S5 G. So now let's see the scrolling again very smooth on both phones. No lag whatsoever 120 Hertz refresh rate. So now let's quickly launch the PUBG mobile game on both phones launching at the same time and you can see we have a little delay on the POCO F3 but the F3 faster there as you can see it is more faster so F3 is done almost and you can see it's done and the A52 S5 G is take a lot of time and now the A52 S5 G also also done as well and you can see about 4 or 5 second difference Last time I launching the cameras on both phones, default camera app. Now let's see that which one is going to be the fastest one, more faster on the Poco F3. Now let's see internet browser speed. I am seeing the default Samsung internet browser on the A52 S5 G, while on the Poco F3 we have a Google Chrome. Now let's open the Wikipedia.org. Faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the A52 S5 G. Now let's see the scrolling, really smooth on both phones. I didn't see any lag on both phones now let's open this English faster again on the Poco F3 so the internet browsing speed also faster on the Poco F3 as compared to the A52 S 5G so now let's see RAM management on both phones and both phones has a 8 GB of RAM now let's see that who is perform good in the RAM management and one thing also really good on the A52 S 5G is that we also have a headphone jack while on the Poco F3 we does not have any headphone jack so that's really good thing as well let's see phone dialer no refresh let's see settings no refresh amazon shopping and it is a in-app refresh let's see candy Crush saga no refresh instagram same result let's see pin out snapchat let's see spotify no refresh let's see subway suffer and that card refresh on the Poco F3. Let's see Tamper N2. Let's see and to do benchmark and that is also not refresh. Now let's opening up the tutor. No refresh. Zedge. Let's see PUBG Mobile. Same set. So RAM man, it is excellent on both phones. No issue whatsoever in terms of the RAM wise. So last way back to the internet browser and that is also not refresh on both phones. And guys over I have to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the Poco F3 is perform more faster as compared to the A52 S5 G in game map during time as well as in system based application in terms of the RAM device and both phones is performed really good in the RAM management on the A52 S5 G we have a 4500 mAh battery size on the A52 S while on the Poco F3 we have 4520 mAh battery size and the Poco F3 also has a 33 watt super fast charging and the adapter also here in the box while on the A52 S5 G we have a 15 watt adapter in the box but the A52 S5 G is support maximum 25 watt also in terms of the gaming wise in the Poco F3 it is a much better phone as compared to the 
A52 S 5G. We have a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate on both phones, which is only available in the balanced HD HDR. While on the A52 S, after the smooth graphics, we have a ultra frame rate in the balanced HD HDR. And that's about it. And thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G versus the Poco F3. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for the tech videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.